I recently moved and am now in this new grow room. This is a 13 by 13 room and right now there are just boxes everywhere. I'm gonna be setting up several tents in this room and I'll create a new video for each tent that I assemble step by step. All the tents I'm gonna assemble are by AC Infinity. They're a sponsor of this channel. Big shout out to them. They hook up my viewers with a discount code. Use code MrGrow15 to save on any of their gardening products. There's a four by eight is gonna go on this part of the room and then the four by four right next to it. And then I will vent out the window. We got a lot to do, so let's get into it. So I just took the main part of the grow tent, the canvas, out of the actual box. And you can see all the different poles that are here with the end pieces. And uh, there's instructions that we are going to refer to in order to put this thing together. And it's in here. Oh, looks like they've included some stickers here. Sweet. Just going to talk about some of the key features. So there's a couple different ways to assemble a grow tent. Typically the ones in the instruction manual should be the easier way to do it. So here's the tent that we're gonna be assembling, full by eight style. So they're assembling the bottom first. Maybe assembling these middle pieces there. You know the whole frame. So they're assembling the entire frame first. Then they'll go ahead and unzip the tent. It says so it lays flat. Then it's gonna flip everything up and around then you've got yourself a complete tent. So I've laid out the end pieces here where they are going to go. So right here we've got the deep ones. We've got one for the bottom here and then one for the top of the grow tent, each corner. Here we've got the D3s. This is actually gonna be on the top part of the tent and then on the bottom part, D2s. And then more D1s over on that side as well. So got that laid out. Then we've got the poles laid out. Pretty organized here. They've got clearly labeled A, we've got some more A's, A's, B's, and then we've got C's here as well. And then of course these are the top bars that hold up the grow lights, so this will be last. And in the instructions they have you assemble A first, then B, then C. So let's, uh, let's continue on here. Let's get the A's, which are gonna be the bottom part here. B will be the first level, C will be the second level and then A's will be around the top. Okay, this is what it looks like when you have the A's assembled with the D1s on the bottom here. So uh, again, this is gonna be the piece on the top, so that's why they're off to the side. See, I've done that, but yep, they'll all just connect like this. And then next up, poles coming up here are gonna be the B's, so that's next. Okay, I got the bees in, and one thing that's cool about these ones, I don't think I've seen this at all, is they actually put the foot mark. So, one foot, got two feet there, three feet there. So you can kind of see where your plants are at when they're in the grow tent by just uh, looking at the side pole there. I think that's pretty cool. Next up, we've got the C's. C's go on top of that. Okay, got the C's up and you can see this one is just leaning over. Once I get the A's back up top, it'll stabilize everything. But, yep, this one, uh, this is the C's. These ones also have the numbers on there as well. So we got four, five, and six. So you can clearly see how tall your plants are. And so next up, we're gonna put the end pieces back on the top, so the D1s. So this will be up on top. And then we'll also have the D3s. This will be up and kind of have a crossbar up there as well. So we'll put that up and then more A's kind of connect up the top all the way around. And then, uh, and then we'll go from there. All right, the entire frame is built as you can see here. And uh, next up on the instructions, tell you that after the frame is assembled, it has you lay the tent, unzip it and lay it so it lays flat on the ground. Then from there, what we're gonna do is it gets a little bit more difficult here for one person. You put the frame inside the floor part of the grow tent. There's two people recommended for this part portion of the assembly. Uh, really, it's kind of lifting the tent over the top it is a little bit difficult for just one person, but I'm only one person, so I'm gonna have to figure this out. 
Then after that, you'll wrap around the sides. Then you've got a complete grow tent there. And then, uh, of course, you'll go back in there and add the bars for the light. Okay, I got it laid out somewhat. Definitely not flat all around, but this is the bottom part. And yeah, totally could have laid this out flat first, then assemble the frame within the bottom part. It would have been a little bit easier. And then, of course, uh, wrap in the top up over it but I've already built up the frame according to the instructions. Okay, I finally got the bottom part in there. Now I just need to flip over this to the top, which is, in my opinion, the most difficult thing to do, particularly since I'm just one person. But I've done it before and I'll do it again. Certainly a lot easier with smaller size grow tents, you know, five by five, four by four, two by four. It gets a lot easier as the tent is smaller, but this being a four by eight, this is one of the more difficult ones to do by yourself. Okay, I lifted up the top partially over and I just wanna show you kind of how far I got to uh, give some tips to some folks who are just doing this for the first time. Really bringing it up and having it snug in the corner here on both sides makes it easier because then I'll be able to lift up the rest here, snug it into the other corners and then the whole top is assembled. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, there we go. So all four corners are snug right there, nice and tight. Now it's just a matter of zipping around the whole thing, and then we're good to go. So it wasn't as difficult as I uh, told my mind it was. <laughs> I was able to do it, but uh, yeah, you just gotta, gotta have a little bit of strength in order to get it done. So let's wrap up these sides and then uh, we're gonna complete it. Okay, the tent is assembled. Just need to put those top bars in for the light, but I had to turn it around because, well, it was facing the wall. So <laughs> turn the whole thing around and now it is looking good. I zipped up all the sides. Now I just need to unzip these sides, throw in these poles for the lights. Okay, so I probably should have mentioned that there are actually two of these crossbar pieces. One hang down a little bit more than the others. This one doesn't hang down as much. And actually these ones go on first. So I put the wrong ones on first. So I'm gonna take them off, put these on, and then I'm gonna put these other crossbars on after. And uh, you'll see what I mean by that. Okay, I've added in the top crossbars. Let me show you exactly what I mean by one that hangs down more than the other. So you can see this one hangs down a little bit more than this one. So I added on these two bars first, added them on this way, and then added the other bars on underneath it. So it had crosses like this, and the idea is to hang your grow lights to either just this piece, or I sometimes like to hang my grow lights to both, so additional support there. But uh, yeah, if this bar were to fail, it has this crossbar here as well. Now, one thing I like to do right away before I even put grow lights in or anything else is close off these ventilation socks here. So we've got so many throughout the grow tent for ventilation and your wiring. I close them all off right to begin and then I only open them as I need them. So I'm gonna close them off right now. It's actually a, a double layer here. So I'm gonna close off the inside one first. Then I'm gonna close off this one right here and then it's gonna be nice and tight. Both are now closed off. I tuck the string in the other one there. And sometimes I just like to, instead of having the string hanging down, I, I like to tuck it up into here sometimes to just make it look a little bit cleaner. You know, it doesn't always stick up here, but uh, sometimes it does. And yeah, it just looks a little bit cleaner when it's tucked in there. So that's what I'm gonna do to every single one of these ventilation socks. Okay, all the ventilation socks are closed up. And actually one of the cool things I wanted to point out about this tent in particular is the middle sock right here. Now, I believe this might be four inch. Not a lot of people are gonna be using a four inch ducting here. It's gonna be more for the wire controls. So shoving the wires through there. But in the middle of the tent, I don't think I've seen any other tents that have that ability. So that's pretty cool. And then of course there's back zippers there. If you need access to the back of the tent, I have my tent against a wall. So I'm never gonna be using those, but other folks do need access to the back and uh, it's awesome that they have window access to the back of the tent so you can manage plants on that side if needed. 
These bottom rectangle vents I'm gonna keep closed for right now until I know exactly how I'm gonna run my ventilation, which is gonna be the next part of this series is running the ventilation into here. This tent is just about done. Last thing is just the spill tray. So it comes with a spill tray. Place it in there, I will unravel it and then you'll see what that looks like and then it'll be good to go. Okay, the spill tray is in and it is white. So I don't know if I've seen any other brand of grow tents doing white spill trays, but I know that can help with reflectivity. So I'm assuming that's why they do it here. And uh, for those that don't know how these spill trays go in, you just unravel it and then you actually wrap it around. There's a piece of uh, Velcro right here. You wrap it around and then stick it. That way it kind of holds in place. And I did that on all four corners there. And now it's good to go. So I'm just gonna zip up this grow tent and then uh, and that'll be complete. It is all zipped up and looking good. Uh, just a quick tour. So there are two viewing windows, Velcro. You can actually take this. Kind of difficult to do with one hand, but you can take it, you can wrap it up and connect it there. Uh, you can do a lot better job than I've done, but if you want to keep it open and it does have it on both sides, you just go in there and check your plants that way. I'm gonna close those off for now. You saw me opening up the main way, which is right here, this main zipper, but I went ahead and closed that off and added the Velcro there to help prevent the light leaks. So everything's nice and Velcroed to it. And the way to get into the tent is actually there's side doors here. So you can actually completely ignore this middle main piece, unless you're transferring equipment in and out of there, it might be a little bit easier that way. But for the most part, I'm just gonna go here, unravel this, boom. And then it drops down. Now, of course, it is also going to have another Velcro strap here. So you're able to actually tuck it back in with this Velcro. So that tucks the door back right there. And yeah, I can go in there and access and do whatever I need to do. And then just close up the door that way. And of course, this same door here has that Velcro piece as well. So yeah. So you gotta unzip it all the way and I'd for really to have it tucked back all the way. And there we go, we've got bolt sides open now. And now I will be able to install the ventilation system next. And that's what's gonna be in the next part of this series is right up in the corner here if you want to watch me install the ventilation system in here. So ducting, carbon filter, and also the inline fan. Click this video right here and that'll take you to it. Peace out everyone, catch you in the next video.